the city council approved for the mayor to sign the closing documents and there's a closing scheduled for a couple of weeks from now. Earlier this year, the Houghton City Council approved an intent to purchase agreement with Meyer, allowing the retailer to perform its pre-site research and surveys with a specific location in mind. They've been working on site plans for the sites, maybe just over 20 acres, so there's quite a bit of work to do as far as site planning, driveways, so they're working on that. I know they're working with MDOT right now on how the driveways may or may not be oriented on the site and then they'll have to go through site plan reviews. Then once the site plan review is done, the next step would be a building permit. That location is on the edge of the city limits bordering with Portage Township. In fact, part of the parcel falls into the township's limits, but the two municipalities were able to reach a zoning agreement that allows the city to assume zoning for the entire parcel under a State of Michigan 425 agreement. Portage Township, you know, once they got through fact-finding and whatnot as far as the 425, and um, of course they voted for it, the city voted for it, um, we're both on board there, so that's all settled as well. While locals have mixed feelings about a new box store in town, rumors have surfaced that opening could be this year, but Wara says he's not so sure about that. However, breaking ground may not be all that far away. Realistically, you know, looking at the magnitude of the construction there, I, I don't expect to see a store open in 2019, but that's, that's completely up to them. But um, probably within the next month or two, you know, they'll be um, eligible to get building permits. The total lot that the store and gas station will be built on is actually made up of three parcels of property. Two of them are privately owned. The city's portion, the landlocked portion, was sold for 200000 less, uh, you know, a couple of thousand in closing costs, which have to be divided between buyer and seller. Wara believes that the addition of a Meyer will be good for the city's economic development. Construction is always fun, and more shopping choices in town will, will certainly be an addition to uh, what we have to offer here in Houghton. I'm Lee Snitz for ABC 10 and the CW5.